Hi and welcome students. In this video I'm going to be talking to you about Microsoft Publisher 2016 and how to create a brochure. Let's go ahead and get started. So in this video I'm going to be talking to you about the brochure medium. Now in this playlist so far we've only really talked about flyers, but if we go to the built-in section of our templates from our publisher homepage, you can see that you could also create brochures. A brochure is uh, also called a pamphlet and it's usually a high quality publication with lots of colors and graphics. Typically they are used for for advertising purposes. Now a few things that you need to know about brochures and I'll go ahead and uh, click on this one here and you can see from a diagram that this is what's called a trifold brochure. Uh, a couple things you need to know about brochures is brochures are typically made to last. So you can see all the different types of templates here. Uh, whenever we print out a brochure, it's typically going to be uh, printed out on higher quality paper with information on it that uh, is not going to go out of date or bad very quickly. When we're creating a brochure, it's meant to be looked at and so it's meant to be felt as well. So when we print it out, we need to make sure that the paper is high quality. We need to make sure that the graphics and the information on the page again is long lasting um, and also that the the paper itself and the graphics on it are high quality as well okay now dates and things like that they're not used as much in brochures typically they're used for advertising purposes so so far we've been looking at flyers and flyers are typically short term they're kind of like a newspaper in that sense uh, every semester when I have classes coming up I build a flyer that's uh, meant to advertise for the class but it's only good for a couple weeks because the information is so short brochures on the other hand they freq frequently use a high stock level of paper so heavier thicker paper so the information lasts longer and uh, the paper and the uh, image quality should be higher than a brochure as well prices materials that type of thing typically not on a brochure so they offer a great deal of color and they include actual photos instead of clip art and things like that so again higher quality publication uh, you're gonna be looking for in a brochure an attention getting display so the first thing that you see it should get attention it's built for advertising purposes so you can see as we scroll through these templates here let's say I click on this one here called borders and you can see from the uh, title here it is a trifold brochure three panel or four panel okay depending on how you want to fold your paper and then you can build your brochure from here now publisher is a great program for building brochures because again it's not like Microsoft Word where it's uh, you're pretty much locked to wherever your cursor is at. You could put text boxes, graphics, images, anything that you want all over your page and it's built in with the trifold or four panel brochure in mind. So uh, again, long lasting publication, it's encouraging second look. So again, high quality paper and uh, it should go over a product or service. So Publisher is a great program again for small businesses in this sense because you can create uh, brochures brochures right from this program to your interested clientele or your potential customers to give away at events or anything else that you're doing uh, as far as marketing goes. So brochures are effective for that and they should increase communication as well with your customers. So on the back side, you'll usually have a contact here or a way for the customer to communicate with you. And again, you see that it's set up a lot like a flyer in this sense on how you create it in terms of where you go to on your built-in templates. So hopefully this uh, video has explained a little bit about the brochure medium and what it's used for. And so the rest of uh, the next couple videos are gonna cover how to create a brochure and um, you know the different types of elements that you're going to need in your brochure. So uh, I hope that you're enjoying this playlist so far. If you have any questions or any requests, please put it in the comment section. I'll be happy to help. And then if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.